welcome to N++ uh, Building Energy Modeling Software Presentation. Let's create a new project in metric system and call the project demo. Uh, we're going to choose to insert empty project so we can import the energy plus IDF file which is called template. We are basically importing basic commands from the energy plus constructions, materials, schedules, uh, something that we can consider as a library. We don't need to uh, import and create that from the scratch every time we create a new project. That's one of the features of the M++. As we are importing the IDF file, you can see on the screen that uh, uh, there is a not responding message on a, on a window. The reason for that is that we are having, we are experiencing a heavy load on a uh, processing load uh, screening this uh, presentation. Uh, importing is done and we can show the list of the objects that we imported so there are constructions and other objects and we're moving on to create the first floor plan by importing the JPEG file of the residential house we're going to scale the file scale the image uh, it's very simple we say 367 becomes 11 meters and we're gonna set zero to the upper left corner of the of this building. That's very useful for um, stacking your floors if you have multi-story buildings. Uh, what we see now is we are assigning the full constructions to walls, windows, slabs, floors, and roofs. Those constructions will be assigned automatically as we start putting the walls and windows. Uh, we're creating zones uh, at this moment we're going to have five zones, four of them are going to be rectangular zones and the last one is going to ha is going to be freeform zone. This is a freeform uh, closed polyline zone. This grading is very easy, we're tracing the, the floor plan. Uh, right click and it's done. <coughs> Next natural thing is to assign the uh, zone names. We're going to have a living room and two bedrooms corridor and hallway bedroom number corridor and bedroom number two once we're done with that we're gonna click on a wall wizard and wall wizard will assign all the exterior and interior walls to our zones we're putting now windows to our exterior walls once again tracing the floor plan that was imported on the right side you can see the properties windows where the default values are assigned for wall height, wall height, zone height, um, window height etc. that can be changed before we start creating the windows and walls and the last thing to do is to call the roof wizard who will assign flat roofs to all zones and our building is basically done, geometry is done. We're going to turn off the roof layer so we can continue with our work. Uh, we're going to edit the PTAC command from Energy Plus. Every command can have assigned a, a block, a CAD block and you can see you can have a cut sheet from the manufacturer that you can import and trace it and create a block block for uh, your usage we're going to leave this rectangular blue block we're just going to insert it PTEX usually come under the windows it knows that it belongs to the living room and we're assigning them all zones thermostat then we'll control the PTEX now we are just copying the cat block from zone to zone and that's it we're going to assign what type of report we're going to have. It's HTML and inchbound systems, all summary and monthly reports. Uh, the one thing that is left is a weather file. We choose Chicago weather file. And uh, after we do that, we assign design days, winter and summer design days. You can see all the features of the each design day that we chosen import and it's done
are, uh, we are ready for our first run and before we do the run we're gonna insert some light bulbs we're just gonna create a, a CAD uh, object, a text uh, it's called B and we're gonna click on it and once it's selected we go to a zone and click the light, lights object and the B object becomes a light object we're gonna assign the L1 name assign the schedule, operation schedule and the lighting level feature and we're going to say it's going to be 100 watts well, now we're going to copy this light bulb to different locations bedroom 1 so each zone has a lighting feature with 100 watts and now we're going to do a, a smart updating where we're going to change the L1 fixture to be 75 watts only in living room. Uh, the rest of the zones will still have a 100 watt fixture. So living room 75, we click on the bedroom one, it's 100 watts. And we are now pretty much set to go. We're going to click on a play button and now we have Energy Plus running on the left side of the screen. Uh, we have a run period of 12 months from January to December so it's going to take a, maybe less than a minute for run to be done. For our next runs we're going to change the run period to be only in August. That's what we're doing now. We're finding the run object that we have and we're just going to say please make the, the future runs only in August. Uh, we are opening the HTML report that we created it has on the left side the tree structure where you can choose the components of the report that you want to see. Uh, you can stack different components of the report and compare them. Now we have living room and bedroom too. Oh, and then if we want to we can export that into the Microsoft Word and save it uh, either for our official report or for our analysis or we can do the same thing and save it in the HTML file. We're going to close the report window and we're going to proceed to create the parametric runs. Now we are tracing from the exterior wall. Uh, we're tracing the construction and when we go to the construction we trace what where is the insulation and we're assigning the parameter to the insulation thickness. Now instead of being a 0.1 meter, it has a parameter. We're doing the same thing to the uh, to the COP of the PTAC. We're going to now open the parameters uh, parametric runs window, and we're going to assign default uh, values for the for each uh, uh, parameter. So if we run just a default run insulation will be 0.1 and COP will be 3. But now we're going to create two runs where we're going to use both parameters and we're going to vary them. In the first run insulation will be 0.2 meters and COP will be 3.5 and we're going to create the next run which we, which we are going to call run 2. That run will have insulation of 0.5 3 and COP will be slightly higher. It's going to be 4. We click on the run and we're going to just two short August runs for new run 1 and new run 2. You see that the window open twice. We go to our report tab and we see there that they are added that we have new run 1 and new run 2 table and we can now call any report from any section of the report from any run we can stack them, we can compare them, see how the cooling is different in a, from run 1 to run 2 because of the insulation in the COP so we're comparing now living room in a 
run 1 we have a hi higher cooling than in the run 2 which is to be expected because of the thicker insulation and better COP. The last thing that we're going to show is that we can always update our model and geometry based on the updated architectural plans. We imported a, a new plan that has an addition that we're going to call office. We're going to this, through the same process of scaling the floor plan and zeroing and making the zero in the same place. So now we see the new floor plan and we have the list of all floor plans that are assigned to this drawing. As we click, we can see how the plans are changing. Now we're going to erase the exterior wall on the right side. That will erase it automatically in the window. And we're going to create the office on the right side of the building. We're going to use the wall wizard to assign all the walls. And we're going to manually add that window in the kitchen area. And that's it. Now we can add it in a 3D, see how it looks like, and we're going to run the wall wizard to assign the wall to our new addition. Uh, we can call that office, and we can put windows in the office and do the same procedure. Thank you very much for uh, 